Hi again, this is Dr. Danish Shekhar. I'm a practicing pediatrician and a pediatric gastroenterologist at Chennai. I would like to take upon the third section where we are going to talk about a very interesting area as well. Section 1 and Section 2 gave you a brief introduction about what the gut microbiota is and basically the various factors that can actually affect the gut microbiota. When you look at gut microbiota, we compared that with our fingerprint and we looked at different ages and how the gut microbiota can get affected. Now in this third section, we are going to talk about symbiotic gut preserving the sanity of gut microbiota. The process of dysbiosis we need to understand is very critical because it's a very complicated and multifactorial process with different mechanisms and implications for different people. Restoring a healthy microbial composition and rebalancing the gut microbiota frequently entails treating underlying reasons, adopting a balanced diet, managing stress, avoiding needless antibiotic usage and contemplating targeted therapies such as probiotics or prebiotics. Complications of dysbiosis is something that we really need to understand because your health may suffer if your body is in dysbiosis. From minor symptoms such as cramping, diarrhea and constipation to more significant chronic illnesses, your gut microbiome influences how you deal with them. Dysbiosis symptoms include chronic exhaustion or fatigability, digestive issues and having difficulty urinating, heartburn or acid reflux, itching due to vaginal or rectal infections, food tolerance, bloating and gas, inflammation and joint pain, psoriasis, acne and skin rashes, ADHD or attention problems, depression or anxiety, and connection of non-communicable diseases and gut dysbiosis. The gut microbiota has garnered growing attention in the scientific literature in the recent years and it has begun to be regarded that as a new true organ that regulates several biological activities of the organism including immunity, digestion and metabolism. A huge complexity and a large number of possible microbiome genes have been uncovered thanks to modern sequencing technology. The available clinical and experimental evidence clearly demonstrates the function of the microbiome in chronic non-communicable diseases. Different previous generations from the current generations with reference to gut microbiota and dysbiosis, most communities across the world have experienced a gut microbiota shift associated with the transition from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to one associated with agriculture. Nonetheless, as humans endure additional physical or cultural transformation towards a more industrialized and urbanized settled context, there is a loss and a continuing loss of functional microbial diversity and a conversion towards an atrophied composition associated with diseases of affluence. Now, we have a lot of references for this particular section. The reason is because dysbiosis, we understand, can lead to a lot of acute problems chronic problems, long-term problems, and non-communicable diseases. The most recent scientific literature and most recent scientific technology has helped us in identifying the problems per se and also to give us a clearer understanding what these biases can actually feel like, including the systems that can be affected by these biases and also the diseases that may actually occur because of it. So we need to get an understanding about this. This biases is something that you need to be very careful about. Avoiding things such as major risk factors, including stress, mood swings, antibiotic usage will help you to reduce the risk and the problem associated with this biases. Thanks for watching the third part on this topic on gut microbiota. And this will be the close of the session. Keep watching and do write your comments and questions and we'll be more than happy to get back to you. So this is Dr. Danish Shekhar signing off. As I said before, I'm a practicing pediatrician and a practicing pediatric gastroenterologist based at Chennai with a very particular interest in gut microbiota, dysbiosis, and antibiotic-associated diarrhea. Thank you very much and take care.